Release the Kraken. So now we're hearing some real life witness statements from people who were actually at the booths voting themselves. So this is a family, this one here. So we've got Barbara, uh, obviously the mother in this situation. Then we have the daughter, uh, Cheryl uh, Nudu, I think, Nudu. And then her husband, Charles Nudu. So we'll go with Barbara first and then it'll move along. Now, when Barbara's talking, uh, this one has got me quite emotional uh, as I've watched it. So I'm just uh, this time through, hopefully I'm going to be able to keep my cool together because uh, it's fucking hard to watch and it just fucking grinds my gears hearing this poor lady's story. And you can tell in her voice as well how affected by it she is. Like her voice, it, it immediately goes. You can immediately hear it. Utterly, utterly, it's just destroyed, completely destroyed by what's happened to her. Ah, oh, it's fucking nuts. All right. Too much talk. We'll just jump straight on in. Here we go. Barbara Salika. My name is Barbara Salika. I went to the voting polls on November the 3rd to vote in person. I waited two hours in line. And when I went in, I showed identification and I was taken up to the polling place. The polling man showed me what to do, turned it on and said, go ahead. I voted and I printed it out. And when I got it and I looked at it, Trump was not on there. I voted for Trump and it wasn't there. My daughter, I called her. An audible wow just moves throughout the fucking audience there. Go back and listen. Wow. As it moves through the whole fucking crowd as they're realizing what she's fucking saying. Jesus Christ. Over and I said to her, look, his vote is gone. I voted for him. So I called a poster over and he said, it's not supposed to be seen. It's for privacy. Just put it through the scanner and you're done. It bothered me. It's been bothering me since because I voted. And was it counted or was it flipped? I don't know. I fucking know. It wasn't counted. That is f it makes me so fucking angry hearing that. I'm really trying to stay calm right now, but holy crap, that's pissed me off. And it's not like it's not like we're we're talking about you know the small towns election for I don't know what's going to be at the fucking country fair or whatever the fuck it happens to be. We're talking about voting for the most powerful person on planet earth we're talking about the ruler of earth this isn't some bullshit fucking election that doesn't fucking mean anything this entire event will have ripples throughout the entire fucking world that is why every time there's an election every four fucking years the entire world tunes in to find out what is happening because we all fucking know outside observing in that these motherfuckers are about to change the world by whoever gets in we are about to witness change and then we fucking hear stories like we've heard all fucking day today talking about how the machines don't fucking work properly. How the people who have been trained to be the witnesses for the votes are told that they're not allowed to witness the votes being counted. We're told that there's separate rooms that the votes are being opened in that no one's allowed to fucking go into. We're told that 30,000 people vote that are actually fucking dead. We're told that 560,000 votes come through the machines faster than the machines 
can physically put the votes through at. This is bull crap. And this is fucking serious. This is serious, like on a level, like nothing else in the world fucking matters compared to this. And now we have to listen to fucking Barbara, someone who this is directly fucking affecting, say that when she goes down to vote in these machines, that the fucking name of the next ruler of the fucking planet and the name doesn't fucking come back. They literally, this is literally for the control of the largest army that has ever existed in all of fucking history combined. Ever. Ever. Fuck, this makes me angry. I'm genuinely trying to stay calm right now. But fuck, this pisses me off. And I'm speaking on my mom's behalf, also as a witness. My name is Cheryl Nudo. I was there that day. I drove her to the polls. When she got done voting, she showed me the printout, and she was saying how the president's name that she voted for was not printed out when all the other delegates that she had voted for were on the printout. Me not knowing, because I had not voted yet, how the printout was supposed to look, we went to the pollster that was there and asked him why the president and vice president's name did not print out when all the other names of the candidates printed out that my mother had voted for. It seemed very strange, um, but not knowing any better, we asked, well, what is the next step? And he said, oh, I'm sorry. He said that um, it did not print out because that's uh, for voters' privacy, that none of them vote, but none of them print out. So we you know exactly what that motherfucker is going to say if they bring him forward. Oh, I didn't get training on it. Oh, I wasn't uh, told that's what happened. We thought I I was assuming that uh, it would just be a secrecy thing. That's what it's going to fucking be. It's exactly word for word what they're going to fucking say when they pull that person forward. If they ever do pull that person forward, I wasn't trained. Bet you any fucking money right now. It's exactly what's going to fucking happen. We asked him what the next step was, and he said to put it through the scanner. So that's what we did, and we left, and it seemed very odd. Then I went to where I live in Drums, Pennsylvania, which is about 10 miles uh, south of where my mother voted, and um, I voted, no problem. Everything printed out just as, um, you know, it should, and I scanned it through. So it just seemed very odd, and we wanted to report that, that in my mother's area, um, which was Fairview Township, um, it seemed very odd um, that it did not print out. Thank you. Okay, I'm Charles Nudo. And uh, by the way, my mother-in-law is 84 years old. Uh, she forgot to mention that. Anyway, my wife then... 80. I'm sorry, she's 80. <laughs> my, my wife called me that day and she was distraught and told me everything they just told you. So I go to my polling place around 3, 30, 4 o'clock here in Drums. And when I first walked in, a young gentleman came up to me, started explaining how to vote. And he said, take the stylus, make your choices, then print it out with a printer that's underneath the machine. And I thought, that's odd. I've been voting since 1992. We never had to print a ballot. And I actually thought it was easier to vote in 92 on the World War II surplus voting machines with the curtain. You did your choices, open the curtain, and they went click and everything went. All of a sudden, we have to print a ballot. So anyway, I'm pretty good with computers. I made my choices. I printed it out. All my choices are on there from president on down ballot. And he said, now you have to put it in the scanner. And he turned over a sample ballot and pointed at a weird triangle in the corner and smiled at me. I didn't know what he meant. So I go over to the scanner and I'm wondering, well, a scanner works face down when you scan because I have one at home. So I put it in face down or face up. So he's already across the room talking to another gentleman 
that's about 20 years older than me, trying to tell him how to do it. And I said, are these face up or face down? And he just nodded. He didn't say either way. He just nodded yes. So I put it in face up. So I don't even know if it scanned the blank backside or the voting top side. And anyway, I overheard that conversation, not wittingly or, or that I wanted to. A man, I'm 58, he was about 78, saying, oh, they said to him, now do you understand? And he said, yeah, I think, but my memory's not too good. And when I walked out of there, I realized it's total voter suppression. My mother-in-law here did not even get a cell phone till last year, has never sat at a computer and keyed anything in in her life, has no Wi-Fi or internet service at her house. Neither does my mother. She has a cell phone, but it's a flip type. And these are the people that went by the thousands or millions to our polls and had to go through this system. And I just wanted to point that out. And that's all I have. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is really fucking pissed me off, eh? It'll be interesting to see after this has come out how many other people there are in America uh, in a similar situation to Barbara uh, to find out, you know, if this is a widespread thing or if this is just limited to Pennsylvania. Um, hopefully, these senators are going to look into that and uh, get back to us and give us some information. Um God damn, this kind of shit, it just pisses me off, you know? When you see all the stats and everything in all the other videos and the numbers and, you know, you're kind of separated. There's a level of separation between it. But when you watch shit like this and you realize, oh, this is the actual person. This is directly a person it's affecting. I can see their face. I can see their emotions. I can hear the nuances in their speech, in their voice. I can hear and see them. And then you hear how it's affected them. And you feel it. Ah, it gets to me. That these people are getting screwed over. And you know what's you know what's gonna happen too? You know Dominion is gonna come back and be like, oh, it's a fucking error on our behalf. We've um we've fucked up. And you know, it's our machine's fault. They're not meant to do that. But we're sorry that it's happened. Hey, Dominion. Go fuck yourself. This isn't some bullshit fucking election that doesn't have any fucking impact on the world. I don't know how the fuck your company got selected out of all of the companies that make fucking voting machines. I honestly don't fucking know. You've had... Errors upon errors. 570,000 votes coming through in a rate faster than the machines can physically handle the amount of votes. Bullshit. Bullshit. Deleting the president's fucking name from the ballot. Bullshit. Not instructing your staff properly enough that they know which fucking way to face up the form. Are you shitting me? Your entire company is a fucking pathetic joke. I hope to God that your company never gets selected in any sort of election ever again. Fuck me. If I find out in the next fucking election, that Dominion has been bought out by some other fucking company, or Dominion has changed its name and become another company, or it's bought by some fucking subsidiary, or it fucking merges off into another company, where it then gets to be in the next fucking election, I am going to lose my fucking shit. That is not acceptable. This is absolutely fucking disgusting. Disgusting. 
I bet you any money they're gonna they're gonna fucking merge with another company and they're gonna come back in the next fucking election. I bet you. I bet you any fucking money. That's exactly what's gonna fucking happen. Just... Hmm. All right, better end it there before I get uh, any more heated. Um, don't forget like, subscribe. Don't forget like, subscribe, share it round. Uh, you guys all know the deal. All right, catch us in the next one.